All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 2 with the engineer. Um, last episode, you saw me um, take on the... Um, the... Um, Arrival DLC, yeah, I can think of it. Save Dr. Kenson. Turns out she was a um, Benedict Arnold, so we dealt with her, and Admiral Hackett got pretty pissed that we blew up a mass relay, so... Anyway, in this episode, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna do a bunch of the side missions, and then run to the Citadel and do some shopping. Okay, we need to go up first and feed our fishies. Kate Bowman, um, she was the one we saved on Asteroid X-57. He's like, wow, you're still alive. Glad you're okay, you know. And then Chief Burns, we saved him from the biotic extremists. Um, he um, is helping um, the L2 biotics get their reparations. So, so that's cool. So now, like I said, we're just going to go around. We're going to see about um, probably getting some resources as well. Commander, Morden requests to see you. Okay. We'll go talk to Morden because he wants to see us. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my... Student, want to see him. Safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them, or Clan Chief. Okay. And then it wouldn't surprise me if Grant and the others want to see me too. I don't know what to feel about Grant. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grant is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Alright, so we need to go down to Jack's hidey hole and see what she wants. We're not going to do the loyalty mission. Well, we might do the loyalty missions first. And then we'll see about doing, um, doing the other missions. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, 
drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. Okay. Like I said, I, I think I'm going to do the loyalties first, and then I'll see about um, doing the other missions. Because it probably wouldn't hurt to have everybody's loyalty and didn't have it done, so... Okay. So we'll do Jax first. Why not? Like I said, I'm going to check to see um, if I need resources real quick. Because it probably wouldn't hurt. So I'll be back when I go to a planet. Whether it be Jax or um, one I find. Need some platinum. Away. 
Searching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. All right, we're ready to go to Pragia, so we can deal with Jack's mission. So you have to bring Jack on this one. And so the other one will be Miranda. Okay, we're going to max you out. And we're going to do Blast instead of Heavy. So we can um, use it as kind of like a grenade, kind of, sort of. We're going to max out Warp. And again, we're going to use Unstable for the Blast Radius. Yeah. And then we're going to do Shockwave for Miss Jack. 
and we're going to do improved for the radius. Or actually, no, we'll do heavy. We'll do heavy. Okay. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. When we start a mission, we finish it. Yeah, okay. Let's get on the ground. Okay. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in myself. I want to watch this place burn. Oh, we will. We will, Jack. This place will burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. Usually. Yeah, usually. We'll take some credits. There we go. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. The elusive man requested operation. Yeah, hey, well, just like this facility went rogue. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Okay. We've got Baron, I hear him. They've seen us. There we go. There's the old blood stain. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Hit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did the other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Okay. We'll take some of that metagel back I used in Project Row. Security Officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin to... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? 
needs a fresh kill. Ate free food because in the first, they ate Varen. All that just for some Ezo. We've been spotted. I'll tear you up. Night, night. Boom. Oh, ho, ho, she sent him flying. <laughs> nice job, Jack. Oh, shit. That all of them? Why they need a morgue? This was a small facility. A lot of children died here. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Okay, there's a PDA here. Two, and then where's the other one? There it is. There we go. Why is it their way up? No. Well, maybe it's a glitch. I don't know. Unlocked door that you can't get to. Oversight or glitch or something because that door was opening when we were near it. Strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. Boom, I got them both. That's why I wanted improved instead of um, heavy. I could use them as grenades and get splash damage. Boom! One left! Yes! Ah. One down! There we go. I ain't wasting my ammo on Varen. I'm I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my ammo on Varen. They kept children here. Screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. All right, another med kit. See if we can get more. Oh, we're maxed on it. Good. I must have come through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Okay. Nothing? Alright. Look for your tech, man. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. 
I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. Okay, we'll do this. Hack this research terminal. Okay, they just mocked me on that one because there was one, but I couldn't get to it. Because of the red X's. If you go if you hit the red X's, you fail the um hack. If you don't have any of the pieces. But when you have a piece, they just take away one of the pieces. There we go. We can use this. Hell yeah, give me that. Power cells. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. You couldn't have known. Maybe. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Okay. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Kill them on my own. I want them dead. There. Boom. Bitch. There we got him. Whoever Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Right? That's the way to think about it, Jack. Boom. There we go. Okay. Yep, I think that was... It wasn't it, no. Okay. Here we go. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Why did you come back? 
I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. You're here to erase your past. He's part of that. I... Shit. Is this right? Will killing him fix my head? You're a killer, Jack. That's what you do. Yeah. That felt... good. A bullet in the head solves everything. <laughs> it sure does! This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. And then there's the blood stain. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Okay. No more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Alright, there we go. Easy mission. There we go. Now Jack is loyal to us. We leveled up too. Got a new outfit for her and biotic damage, but I'm not going to use the new outfits. I'm just going to leave them as they are. Maybe in the next run I'll change the outfits a little, but I don't know. I'm just going to leave them. All right. Grump seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. Okay, we sure will. We'll do that. For biotic duration. There we go. Okay. Grunt seems very agitated. You may want to check in on him. That's what we're doing. We are checking on Grunt. Oh, that's just ED. It's like, I thought that was something to um, investigate. No, that's just ED. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? 
Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. Ooh. See, why do that? What's wrong? Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this as a particularly big shift. Doesn't matter if it's normal. I'm not. I'm not used to this, this noise. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Junka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Okay. We're not gonna go to Chunka yet. We're just gonna um, do the um, do the missions that are on separate planets, so I can earn more money. No new messages. We'll talk to Kelly. See if she has anything else to say. Because I want her feeding my fish. So I don't have to worry about it. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Okay. All right, on to the next mission. Okay. Um, which will probably be... Jacob. So I need to go around. I need to keep looking for resources. So I'll be back when we're ready to help Jacob. Or if we find another mission. Oh, here's an anomaly right here. Bastards didn't know what hit. Coming around for a second patrol. Look at what you watched. Bastards didn't know what hit. Something on our sensors. Go. Blue suns are doing something on this planet, so we're going to check it out. We're going to get Grunt out so um, I can get him fixed up. Grunt. Miranda. Okay. So we want overload. I know that. Do his class first. Um. And then we'll do Krogan Pure Blood for um Grunt because Miranda gives us the. Um, squad weapon damage buff. How much does she give us on that? Fifteen. Okay. Do incinerary. And we'll max out concussive. And we'll do blast for you because you use shotguns. Okay, we'll change the shotgun to the claymore heavy. We'll use the matic for you.
There we go. Ugh, I got them all. That's how you do that. <laughs> yeah, right on your ass. There we go. Okay. Boom. Get out of the way, Miranda. Motherfuckers, burn! We'll take our metagel back. Open my locker here. There's another locker over here we need to open. sons are asking their commander, Commando Santiago, for some help. And Commander Santiago says, oh sure, you, we'll, we'll give you some help. That's pretty much what those two messages say. There's a shitter right there. I'm just looking for items. Doesn't look like there is any. But they're saying there's enemies. Boom. Boom. It's the only thing I don't like about Concussive Shot is your um, squad will use it and it'll just knock your enemies down and when you're trying to kill somebody with a power, you'll end up missing. Okay, and it looks like they had a Prothean Artifact here.
Mm, right. Okay. We'll go capture the ship later. Right now, I just want to stick around and. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. We'll deal with it when we get upstairs so we can feed the fish. Blue Sun's activity. So pretty much Cerberus Command gives us uh, the location of that ship. Moreland um, from Moreland's famous shop in the first game is now selling on the extranet. Um, Han Olar from uh, Novaria is saying, oh my god, you're alive. You're alive. I, I'm, I'm fucked up. <laughs> pretty much what he's saying. And then Cerberus Intel was um, telling us about the Pragia um, Telton facility, saying, oh, the elusive man had no fucking clue this was going on. Um, and the elusive man wanted the Subject Zero project shut down, but, you know, I mean, that's just him covering his ass, so... I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Thank you, Kelly. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Gardner's voice actor is the same as Ambassador U Ambassador Udinas. Those that may not know. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Where do we find Faye? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Okay. So now... We're gonna go back up and we're gonna continue exploring this galaxy and helping Jacob. So I'll be back when we either find another planet to land on or we get ready to help Jacob. All right, so we're ready to help Jacob. Anomaly detected. We are ready to help Jacob here. And it's a rich planet too, with the Ezo. Look at that. We'll take that. Something on our sensors. Well, we'll have to scan the planet later. That's okay, we'll bring Jake about on this one. And of course bring Miranda so we can get that squad weapon damage boost. Okay. We're gonna do pull for Jacob. You. That's it. Okay. Okay. 
There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Right. So we'll check the ship first, and then... It looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Okay, there it is. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it is. Okay. There's a PDA over here we need to hack. The 3,000 credits. Okay. You. You. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're going to figure out what happened here, but as you can tell from those logs, something ain't right. Repeat, toxology alert. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. 
Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I... I, I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will... Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been spotted. <clears throat> Boom! We got them both. Oh wait, Jacob. If you'd have gotten out of the way, I could have gotten those two. Run. There, we got him. That wasn't neural decay. They were feral. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Alright. Well, we'll figure out what's wrong. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face not the best reaction to the family resemblance jacob <laughs> why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food whatever's happening here needs to stop look at these spoiled food stores they've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long like that wasn't obvious enough uh. what the hell somebody had to push them to make that that's borderline worship. So, what did they make? Yeah, it looks like some sort of... Patrols like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Okay. So we're gonna get ourselves some salvage. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start what he promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky jacob what does it say it's a crew log book some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long they were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay my father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected 
Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He was a command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. So why call for help now? The surviving males are changing. Everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Okay. We set this to explode. It's just a hack. It's easy to do. Battery... Then you clear the blast zone. There. What an explosion that was. Uh. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. You think, Jacob? The corpse has been posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Activity. <laughs> You're done. Careful, I automated my defenses after the crew turned violent. They keep attacking. I had no choice. He had plenty of choices. There we go. We need to get overload maxed. That's what we need. I'll heavy take. pistol for the upgrade. Excuse me. There. That was not a smart thing to do. Got your ass. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Right? That's exactly what it is, Jacob. That's exactly what it is. He had his fun with a harem, and now he wants out. There. Make activity. Boom. There we got him. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Okay, we'll take all that. Power cells, and there another. Nope. Hunters, kill hunters. Combat drone, watch out. 
Okay, we don't have a good spot here. Have a nice trip. So... Oh, clear that, man. Oh, mini nuke. There, let's get our combat drone going. There we go. Ugh. Damn right, we killed them all. Nice. That wasn't bad. That really wasn't a bad firefight right there. Taking that mech's head off was funner than hell, though. For a mini nuke. <laughs> That's how you kill a big group of enemies like that. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some yeah. kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his mechs. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. We can guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob!
Oh! <laughs> we left him in the hell that he made. <laughs> hell yeah, that's the way to do it, man. Alright, so now Jacob's loyal to us. We got that heavy pistol damage upgrade. Along with some credits and some Ezo. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Great, may as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No. She's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on. We've got work to do. I Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. All right. Now Jacob is loyal to us. <laughs> so we're going to hit the research terminal real quick. Get my heavy pistol damage. Make sure there's nothing else here. There's not. Okay. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Okay. So I want to go talk to Jack. See how she's doing. And then we'll, um, go on to the next loyalty mission, I guess. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? There was only one other survivor from that place, and you killed him. It's the same thing as blowing the place up. Now I'm the only one who remembers what happened there. I want it gone. I want it all gone. It's only in my head, and when I die, it dies. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? 
let's let's get back to work. Okay. <laughs> So, now we're going to go up and we're going to do the next loyalty mission, I believe. But we need to go up to the cabin. We can feed my fishies. And no new messages. Help you, Commander. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Okay. So the next mission. I don't know which the next mission will be, but this one, this planet was a rich planet, so I'm gonna scan it. So I'll be back when I'm ready to do the next mission. Okay. So I think we're gonna recapture the freighter next. In the Omega Nebula? Which is right here. So we'll go recapture this freighter from the Blue Suns. We'll bring Garrus out, because we haven't seen him in a while. Do a concussive shot for you. And we'll do heavy concussive shot, because you use, um, you use sniper rifles. Okay. Alright. Merc transmitter. They're pretty much saying, oh, there's a ship coming. Let's seal down. Let's lock down the ship. That's pretty much what they're saying. What were they doing here? All airlocks are sealed. That's pretty much what that thing said. You think anyone's still here? There we got him. Shit. He ducked on me right when I shot. All the doors are locked. So pretty much they're saying there's a stash in the cargo hold. And they want to keep it away from us. So we come up here to bypass the security locks. That did it. Okay.
Let's check all this out before we go upstairs. Nope. Shit. Didn't mean to shoot that. Uh, that's the way to go, isn't it? No. We need to find the way up. Oh, I I knew better. I knew better. I knew better than to run around like that. That was completely my fault. It's the problem is we don't have a good spot. That's that's my problem. We just don't have a good spot. There. Fucking A. Boom. There. Okay, so now they know I'm Commander Shepard. Now they're really freaking out right now. Okay. That it? Yeah, that's it in here. Okay, and here's a medical station. And that's it. Looks like the Blue Suns took the ship and decided to kill the crew. Though it's on the other side, I am thinking. Battery, C, H, and satellite. Mario. That did it. That opens the bridge. But we don't want to go in there yet. We want to. There. 
bastard he ran on me. Cover. Cut your ass. I'm done using powers here because I'm just wasting them. Those things explode, so you gotta use your ammo on them. Okay, so now we're looking for the stuff in the cargo hold. You have to read the ship's log to open up the cargo hold. That it in here, yeah, looks like it. Firing a high impact shot. Shield to fail. See, that's the thing. You don't have a good spot here, and so they're just gonna sit here and murder you because you don't have a good spot. There. Uh, we get one. Boom, we got two. It is likely that the requested cargo is located on the ship's upper deck. There we go. And we've been in every room. So we want the research docket. This might be useful. Heavy skin weave, we'll take it. We don't want the payload yet. We want to make sure we have everything, which we do, it looks like. So, we'll take the payload. Okay, we are out of here. I tried playing as female shepherd. I can't do it. I can't do it. And it's because you And it's because um, you hit on the male uh, crew members. Heavy skin weave, we want that. And that's all it is, just to uh, gain health. And then we need to go into the briefing room. But actually, we're not going to go in there yet. We need to go up and feed the fish first, and then we'll go in there. I don't know exactly how many missions you can go before you have to feed the fish, but um, I just feed them every mission. That way then it, it's done, you know.
Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Okay. We're going to bring out Zaid because it's been a long while since we brought him out. You really don't need concussive. And we'll do heavy, never do squad disrupt, never do the squad ammo powers, always do heavy. These are all right. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Okay, so now we're in a collector ship. Never seen a ship like this before. Look. It's like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Okay. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. I bet those missing colonists are on there, if they're still alive. These are the same containers the collectors used on Horizon. Only these are empty. No way for a man to go. Trapped in there, completely at the collector's mercy. Yeah.
What the hell happened to you? Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They could have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Because it didn't. This galaxy never gets any brighter, does it? Right? from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. Oh shit, the collectors are Protheans! My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. And now we get a bonus weapon. We're gonna take sniper rifles. Okay. Let's say I have far enough, far away targets, I could now take them out with a sniper rifle. I always get turned around here. God damn it. Why do they do that? Why do they fucking turn you around like that and think you're going the right way? Fuckers. All right, we're changing this to the incisor, which means now we need to switch our weapons, put our ammo back on. There we go. There. Heads up. More of those pods on the ceiling. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pods, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Alright. If you find um, collector technology, you want to salvage it because it's worth a lot of money. You get a lot of credits from it. This might be useful. Damage protection. We'll take that. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked E to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Right? It doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. So, we're on the ship that destroyed the original Normandy. It's pretty much what they're saying. 
Look at this. They could take every human in the Terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're going after Earth. Not if we stop them. Right? We're gonna stop them. On the platform there, looks like a control panel. Where are the bodies of the Collector crew? Careful, Shepard. Something doesn't feel right about this. Right? I'm setting up a bridge between you and the Collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Oh shit, now the collectors are here to take us on. Well, we'll start killing fucking collectors, man. The bastards won't know what hit them. Your ass. Sorry, concussive shot. Sorry, now. Edie, get us out of here. Cut your ass. This is probably not going to be the greatest idea, but I need ammo so badly right now. Get out of the way! This hurts you. There. Shepard, you must manually re-establish my link to the command console. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. 
No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. Shouldn't have trusted those Cerberus bastards. There has to be some other explanation. The elusive man wouldn't do this to us. He... he just wouldn't. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Take that meta gel back. Here's some collector tech. Salvage that shit. Enemies in front. Okay. Not you. Not you. Okay, just to check, make sure, nope, nothing else here. We, boom, we got one. Got you. Heavy weapons. Get down. Got you. Boom. Took you out. Oh, you didn't back away like I thought you were going to. Your ass. Okay. I'm thinking that's all of them. Our cells will take them. Ezo and another med kit. Up here we go. Why are they leading me in a circle? There we go. All right, we jump down this. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. Ooh, I need my heavy weapon for this. Oh, 
to get him. Nope. He's not down yet. He is now. There we go. Power cells will take them. See, your squad is really, um... Eating. We've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through firewall 7164. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. So your squad is dependable. They really are, you know. I let them take out the Goombas. Where we, came in. we must be getting close to the end. Collector tag. This looks interesting. Tech damage. Make sure, okay. Got him. <laughs> I need ammo so freaking bad, man. There we got him. Get. I'm gonna have to. Shepard, get down! Fuck! Okay. They were not dropping ammo. Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. go shit yeah don't waste your ammo on these guys man you can take them out with melees and there's the shuttle We're out of time, commander we have to go you heard the man 
Everybody on to the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people! I'm gonna make them work for it this time. There's Shepard, he's running like crazy! Exactly. Stupid AI. <laughs> we took them fuckers down, man. I practice on the sniper rifle. I'll get to be a good sniper again. Back in the day, I used to be a decent sniper. You know? Was I the best sniper in the world? No. But I I was not bad either, you know. So I just need to practice up on being a sniper again. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him too. Shepard. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Just tell me it was worth the trouble. It was. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. 
Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that gun. And that's exactly what we're going to do, Miranda. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. All right, so I'm going to have to call it for this video because I knew this mission was coming up. Um, I just um, wanted to get it done at least. So I'm going to do the research. Damage. Attack. And hard shields. And that's it. All right. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did. And I will see you on the next episode.